A top story, Tangarai's body arrived in Zimbabwe on Sunday and was received by thousands at a memorial square held at, at the memorial held at Freedom Square in Harare on Monday. International government officials and Zimbabwean citizens are expected to descend on the province of Man Man Manchiniland in Zimbabwe to pay their last respects to the late leader Morgan Tsangarai. Joining me live on the line is the leader of the official opposition party, the PDM, McHenry Fernani. Very good morning to you, sir, and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. I much would like to be on the studio. Thank you so much. Let's perhaps start off with uh, giving us, you know, what is the, the atmosphere there right now? As we saw in some reports, thousands of people uh, came to the memorial and, of course, also the funeral. Also going to be a lot of people. But can you perhaps uh, give us a feel of the atmosphere there right now? Well, um, thank you very much. I, I, it's a very somber moment here in Zimbabwe. We, for the last two days, uh, we were in Harare, where we addressed mourners, uh, myself, um, and the acting leader of um, MDC, Nelson Samisa, and many other luminaries across the African spectrum who came to pay homage and tribute to a giant of democratization. In Southern Africa, someone who has dedicated all his life to fight a repressive regime who has made sure that Zimbabwe would urge and work for a better free and fair elections. It's a very sober moment. Uh, on, um, when I arrived here um, Sunday, I had to address a crowd of over 50,000. It was all on the international airwaves, Al Jazeera, ENC, and many other newspapers. And on the same day, the following day, the, the MDC had a a farewell rally in Harare, which more well, close to 100,000 uh, people were present. By popular demand, I was requested again to make a very short statement on behalf of the Sadak Opposition Leaders Forum, which I'm representing in our own party, that I, the party that I lead, the Popular Democratic Movement. Mm -hmm. And now we are in, in the hometown of the Doyan. Thousands of mourners are converging here. We are expecting uh, my good friend, uh, Raila Ambinga, is joining us later in the afternoon. President Emerson Nagwakwa, uh, many other eminent uh, leaders from Zambia, from the trade union in, in, in Zambia, in South Africa, and many other institutions are going to be represented here. Ambassadors from all over the world that are accredited to Zimbabwe are here. Um, members of parliament through, from the Pan-African Parliament through the Zimbabwean legislature and all other neighboring states are here. So it's a very sober, sad moment that we are sending somebody off who has really worked tirelessly for a, 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 demo, a more democratic order in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. uh, looking at the way forward and also having recently had the transition of power from uh, Mugabe to Munangagwa, uh, do you see the opposition in Zimbabwe more united now and looking at his legacy? How do you think he'll be best remembered? Morgan Tsangarai. I think um, Zimbabweans themselves are saying that they will best remember him by making sure that they go out in their numbers to go and vote in the 2018 presidential polls. Um, in terms of um, their political transition, of course, that's an internal matter that we do not have any, any insight, but we can only speak from a speculative uh, point of view that I think um, there is a consensus building around, around one leader who could be seen as the next uh, uh, leader of MDC, but of course it is subject to the political democratic process that has to take place. But I think there is a consensus around the leadership, at least I had uh, high-level meetings with many of their leaders, especially the acting leader and the other leaders who saw me, and the consensus that they're building is that they really want to be united. And the MDC has also formed an alliance with our smaller, smaller political parties as, a, as an election party. And then you are seeing a consensus built around 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 one center of power, and, and we hope that they are going to deliver that. And we advise, of course, uh, my advice to the leadership, the executive election leader, is that they must try to keep unity and preserve his legacy as a man who has really worked for, 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 for unifying the people of Zimbabwe who lost the president, who won a presidential election, and yet remained defiant to say that, no, to the last end of work for a better deal for Zimbabwe and went into a unity government as a, as a, as a, as a junior partner in that uh, government while he really won the first round of elections. So I think they, they have great lessons to draw from, but they need to really work in a greater interest of the country. And uh, Africa is here to give solidarity. Namibia, I'm representing Namibia. We are here to give solidarity to our Zimbabwean brothers on, on the great loss of the patriot that has served Africa very well. All right. Mr. McKenna Vinali, thank you so much for your time.
Highly appreciate it. Thank you very much.